Dude, this base play is actually so good. I mean, the sun's pretty cool. My eyes. Bro, I almost got blinded. Anyways, is that a noob? Why is he just sliding around like that? Is that a melon hat? Do you need some help? Evil dev melon? No, wait, 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 wait. I thought you were dead, bro. I thought I killed you. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, please. No, no, please. No, no. Please, please. Bro. If only I had something that'll help me. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. That's it, dev melon. You can't do anything. You can't do anything to me. That's it. That's it. I have the power. It's no, no, nothing could kill me. Nothing could kill me. Here, yeah, try. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. This ain't. This ain't. This isn't fair. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm back posting, and yeah, it's been a pretty long time since I've last posted, but now my exams are all over, and I'm back posting again. So yeah, without further ado, today we're gonna be making a simple dash script in Roblox Studio. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. To make this dash script, we only need one script. All we need is in start a character script, we just make a local script, and that's it. I'm gonna call this dash script and remove this. But yeah, so first thing we need is we're gonna get some variables lo local user input service is equal to game get service user input service we're gonna get our player and since it's a local script we can do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player we're gonna also need our mouse local mouse is equal to player get mouse and you might be thinking dev melon what, what the, the hell? hell why do we need a mouse if we're doing a dash script i've never seen a dash script that uses a mouse well, actually, we're going to use this to get our keyboard that we're pressing, but I'm going to show that later on in the video. We're going to also need our character, local character is equal to script.parent. We're going to do that because it's in starter character scripts, which means it's in our character. And we're going to do local HRP is equal to character.humanoid root part. And we're actually going to do wait for child to make sure that it loads before calling it. We also need a debounce, which is also a cooldown. Set it to false. And let's also get these four parameters that we need, our WASD keys, to check which key we're pressing. So we're going to do local W key is equal to false, local A key is equal to false, local S key is equal to false, and local D key is equal to false. After we got our four parameters, we're going to check what key we're pressing. And to do that, we're going to do mouse. Now we're going to actually use that mouse uh, variable. And we're going to do key down, colon connect function. And we're going to key, variable key, to check which key we're pressing. We're going to do if E is equal equal to W, then we're going to do... Wow, AI actually just wrote the whole script for me, but I'm not lazy, guys. I'm going to do it myself. Let's go W key is equal to true. We're going to do else if key is equal equal to A, then a key is equal to true and actually i have to capitalize this k else if key is equal equal to s then s key is equal to true and then else if key is equal equal to d then d key is equal to true we're gonna copy this paste it again change this to key up and now change all of these to false and this is going to make sure that if we let go of our key it's going to set the w key for example if we if we let go of w it's gonna set it to false again so basically what the system is doing is it's checking which key on wasd we're pressing and it will make set it to true if we're pressing on e uh, depending on which one second my 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 depending on which key we're pressing after that, we're going to do user input service, which I set as UIS dot input began. Wait, no, I set this to user service. Wait, it should be user input service. Guys, everybody makes mistakes. I'm Dev Melon. I'm, I know I'm perfect. Def definitely, guys. I'm definitely. definitely. <laughs> My bad. User input service dot input began colon connect function. And we're going to do key. And then after that, we're doing if key dot key code is equal equal to enum dot key code dot e which is the key that we're going to use for the dash now we're going to check which key we're pressing so let's do this uh, let's do the how how is ai writing this what the how, ai is just wow ai is just doing all the work for me which is pretty crazy but i'm gonna do it myself because i'm dead man, you know i'm not gonna let ai do this stuff for me what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if w key is equal equal to true then this is gonna check if we're holding down w key then we're gonna do if d bounce is equal to false then that's gonna make sure we don't have a cooldown so that we can't spam local vel uh, short for velocity is equal to instance dot new body velocity set it to hrp it's gonna make that body velocity in our humanoid root part we're gonna do vel dot max force is equal to vector 3 dot new we're gonna do math dot huge zero math dot huge 
then we're going to do velocity dot velocity is equal to humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector times 100 then we're going to put it in the debris so game dot debris add item velocity and then for 0 0.2 seconds which means it will get destroyed after 0 0.2 seconds to stop us from dashing infinitely and then we're also going to do wait one uh, wait, we're going to set debounce to true. We're going to wait one and set debounce to false. Now we're going to do the same for every other key. Else if a key, whoops, is equal to true then. Copy this. And instead of this, we're going to do right vector, which is the sides of our player so that we go to the side. And we're going to make this minus because instead of moving us to the right, we want it to move left because we're pressing the A key. Uh, we're going to do this for the S key else if s key is equal to true then paste it again take this one and here we're going to set it to a minus over here we're going to set the look vector to minus 100 so that we go backwards and then we're going to do else if d key is equal to true then paste it again i'm going to take this one the one with the right vector and remove the minus so that we go to the right and that's pretty much how we do it so fingers crossed when we join it's going to work and there's going to be no errors because we don't like that so i'm actually going to go in shift lock because it works best in shift lock i mean of course it works in normal but it's pretty much intended for shift lock but yeah now if i press w i press e we go forward we dash we have a little cooldown so i can't spam if i press s we dash backwards if i press a we dash to the left and if i press if i press if i press d we're gonna go to the right so yeah guys that's pretty much how you do a dash in roblox studio which is pretty cool you can do a lot of stuff with this. It's pretty fun to play around with and it's easy to make. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel because, you know, because, <clears throat> you know. And yeah, again, if you do have any issues, make sure to comment them down below. But it's better to join the Discord server, ask for help there, or maybe I can help you out personally if I'm not dead. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you learned something today. And yeah.